I'm going to fill the bottom part out in just a second. I want to work on the top part first. Okay, how much did you add? To, how much did you get when you added it? What was the sum? 130. Anybody else get 130? Yeah. All right. Good. So when we added all those headache values together, we got 130. Now, an average says after you add everything, you're going to divide by the number of values you added. Can you tell me how many values did we add in this case? Good. So we're dividing this whole thing by 7. So right now, we're just going to take 130. We're going to divide by 7. How much? 18 point. OK, so oh, we have a decimal, don't we? To change these. With the remainder of four? Yeah. I'm going to change our, our problem here real quick. Sorry. This guy had a really bad day. Let's make it 134. My bad. We haven't gotten to the decimals yet, so I can't make you do decimals yet. This should work out, right? Huh? No. Dang, what did I do wrong? Uh, no, the first one, I got 124. I just did it like three times. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. 124? The first one. First one, 18. I got 124. I just did it like three times in a row. Yeah. Okay, let's check the map. Hang on. What was the remainder the first time? It was four. two? Four. Oh, four. four. This is four. Maybe that headache should have been 61. <laughs> I guess well, we can make it whatever we want. Sure. Does 130, 135 divide by 7? Okay, hang on. Yeah. I went the wrong way. Uh, 52. Do that one. Sorry about that, guys. I must have written some of those problems, those numbers down wrong. It should come out even now, right? Yeah. Right, good. Yeah. So my apologies. So we had a headache of 52 then instead of 56. His headache got better miraculously. So we have 126 divided by 7. We get out of that exactly 18. Here's the thing I want you to know about averages. Please look at the board. Yeah, we kind of I screwed the numbers up a little bit. Sorry, no big deal. It happens. Uh, but I want you to notice something. Our average is 18. Is 18 anywhere in our headache range? It doesn't have to be for an average. This is just saying that if you were given the drug, what we're expecting to happen is you're going to get a headache, and it's going to be about an 18 out of 100. Some people had less, some people had more, but it averages to an 18. Do you understand the idea of an average? So that's what they would, they would use that as. How many people, besides the fact that I had to change numbers, understand about the average, feel okay about it? Good, very good. Okay, the last thing we're going to do today is I'd like to introduce the concept of exponents. Then we'll be done up after that. The exponents is going to lead us to orders of operations, which we'll cover on Wednesday. Do we have one today or not? Just so you know, the answer to that question, almost always, yeah. Almost always. Just because if you don't have an assignment due, I'm still going to give it to you. So you'll, still, you'll have something to work on every day. Maybe not, it won't be. It might not be due the next day, but it does something.